I have found the Deer Creek Falls. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric, and this is Norse American Adventures. You join me today at our little Molas Lake campsite, and I'm in the hammock once again. It's about 10 o'clock, beautiful sunlight today. It's supposed to be a high of 71. Uh, it's gonna go over to partly cloudy around 12, and then cloudy around two or three. But that should be beautiful weather for a hike today. It's the day after the Highland Mary hike, and uh, I'm just gonna get some breakfast going a little bit after I lounge here in the hammock. Got a gorgeous little view of the nature here. And then uh, we'll get on our way for the hike, so stay tuned. Alrighty folks, we're at the trailhead. As you can see, it is just a turn off on the main highway, 550 here. And there's a wooden post there with a bit of a trail. As many Colorado trails start off, this one is a bit uh, lesser known. There were only a few reviews and pictures on all trails, but it's called Deer Creek Trail, 9.2 miles, just under 2,500 feet. We have pulled off on the road here and we're starting off just under 9,800 feet. And we're gonna be going up just under 12,000 feet. So this will be quite the slog uphill. The first 1.2 miles is 1,000 feet all on its own. So that will be quite the challenge. After that, it flattens out for a bit, and then it will be more of a slow and steady uphill to the top. Should be gorgeous. I hope you're excited, because we are. Let's get going. You can see the sign might have said something at one point about a deer creek, but no mas. Alrighty folks, quick update. We've gone about 1.1, maybe 1.2 miles. Done almost the entirety of the first 1,000 feet. You can actually see the road down there. We parked just to the left of there. And then uh, we got some gorgeous mountains dotting the horizon here in front of us. We've been walking along this ridge here. Nice, small, single track trail. Really smooth so far, except very steep uphill. <clears throat> it's gonna flatten out after about another 100 feet here, and then after that, it'll be a gradual incline uphill. We can see that we're basically at the top here, maybe just another 100 or 200 feet. And then we'll be golden. It does look like we're getting some dark clouds, potentially rain. I think I just felt a drop actually, so. Hopefully the weather holds up. See you in a bit. Okay, this is brought to you by Steel. Done! We took it out. There's nothing else. Thank you. 
it has started to rain down on us. Just a light drizzle so far, but pretty big drops. We don't really want to get wet, so we might put our sweaters on. We'll see. Depends how long it lasts. Well, let's keep going. I have found the Deer Creek Falls. Alrighty, folks, quick update. We had a little bit of thunder, actually. Thunder. The cloud doesn't look super dark, but the rain just stopped again. We've been sitting under this tree for a good 10 minutes, just having a little water break. And I think we've decided we're gonna keep going. We're uh, at three miles out of 4.6. So we're two thirds of the way almost. Might as well finish her up strong. Get this view, baby. Booty Butt Cheeks Mountain. <laughs> I see yellow and white and pink and purple. Here's our view, folks. Alrighty, folks, as you can see, we've made it to the top. Bit of a lookout here, right at uh, about 11,900 feet. We've got Engineer Mountain standing right under 13,000 feet, just to the south here. And then gorgeous views across to the east. The lighting is quite nice right now. As you can see, there are still some dark clouds in the area. We've sort of gotten out of them for now, but that's the way we have to go back, so. There's a nice little bowl, like right here, you can sort of get an idea of. And then we came around the outside of it and came back up this way. But inside of the bowl is where we turned left. And then at the top, right around there, should be Jura's Knob, which will be right around 12,500 feet. But me and Jordan are really loving this view. We enjoyed this hike a ton. It's got like a nice wilderness vibe to it. We did not see a single person. Only saw one set of foot tracks here and there. We thought we saw the tracks of a mountain lion, but uh, we got the knife if we need it. Anyhow, we're uh, gonna enjoy our seat here, have a little more food, and then we'll head back down.
There she is. Honda, Honda, Honda. All righty, folks. Just got back down to the car off the highway 550 here in the San Juan National Forest. That hike was absolutely gorgeous. The views at the top were amazing. Uh, the path itself was very nice, well-maintained, single track, uh, very steep. The first like 1.3 miles over a thousand feet. Uh, but after that it leveled out and then it was more gradual uphill. There was like a nice uh, bowl there at the top and then lots of mountains to be seen. Uh, we're gonna drive back to Little Molas Lake campsite and then do a little chilly tonight and that should be our last night here in this area. Gonna do a rest slash driving day tomorrow. Planning to go up towards Silverthorne again and back to one of our old campsites before doing Mount Sniktow, I believe it was called. So stay tuned for that. Should be a 13,000er peak and I think you'll enjoy it. See you in a bit. Back at Little Molas Lake campsite, got a little two bean chili going on. Brioche bun bottoms at the bottom of the bowl. And then we're just gonna basically put an entire bowl of chili <laughs> on top. And now the finisher. Voila. Et voila. <laughs> Sloppy Joe in a bowl or something. Whatever you wanna call it. Cheers. Alrighty folks, we just finished up our chili. Doing a little Die Hard 1 and 2 back to back. Trying to do the first one outside. Hopefully the bugs won't be too bad, but we'll see. Anyhow, this has been North American Adventures. My name is Eric. There's Jordan. Jordan. And we'll see you in the next one. Bruce Willard. <laughs> Bruce Willard. <laughs>